from Ultimate to, uh, or from Smash 4 to Ultimate, but seems like he can still kind of get it done. But in any case, uh, we're going to go into our first match here on stream. We got Pokemon Trainer versus Kirby, Vanity versus Sage 34C. Probably round one pools match, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Starting <laughs> off starting off the wave. Kirby uh, having received a, a fair amount of buffs in that uh, Terry patch yeah. pretty recently. Yeah. So we might be seeing more of this character as time goes on. Mm -hmm. Vanity going to be going with uh, Squirrel to start off with as Pokemon Trainer, which kind of makes sense if you're just going to be boxing with another small, fast character. That way you can keep up the pace. Yeah, at least you have the... Uh, I mean, Squirrel probably the, uh, has, the, has the speed advantage mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, Ivy and Charizard. Oh, just barely missed space that Forest Smash. He called out the neutral getup, though. Yeah, actually probably, like, you know, larger characters might have got hit by that mm. <laughs> with, with that same spacing. Yeah. <laughs> going, going on onto the stage. Mm -hmm. Actually, a lot. Ooh. Dare up tilt. Actually, a ton of damage off of that. Ooh. Oh. Did yeah. I looked a little poor, but sufficient. But that forward air offstage is going to clean that one up. Yeah, really nicely placed to just around the area where like most Vivi stores end up looking for uh, Vine Whip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you kind of have that range problem with a lot of the uh, Pokemon trainer characters. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Already 64%. Oh. Some nice stuff here. Yo, this landing down air, it feels like uh, Vanity is like kind of almost not respecting the frame date on it. Mm -hmm. um, either trying to parry it, like letting his shield up early and getting clipped, or like, yeah, not getting a... Uh, She's not getting getting get, getting down or up tilted a lot. Okay, so apply some 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 damage here. Once again, getting another uh, forcing rather Sage off stage. But Sage is doing a really good job recovering around Ivysaur's uh, down air hitbox. One of That's the favorite right. things they like sniping out there. Yeah, the up E, and, and sometimes he'll even go on, like when he feels like he can get away with it there, so he goes on the stage for the extra damage. And so that's kind of a mix-up, because if you play for the two-frame range, right, you might get hit, you might just get clipped by the whole thing. Oh, absolutely, because you're timing your hitbox later, right? Right, right, right? So then the fact that Kirby's in your face earlier means he wins the exchange. But Vanity still finds himself the down air. Wow. Kirby Nair killing right the there. First Nair is just <laughs> like a monster move now, I guess. Pretty much dead even. All right, yeah, you're not going to get too much of a combo there, I suppose, against the floaty like Kirby. Yeah, Vanity kind of just keeping up the pressure. Yeah, this is this is all good so far. Nice ledge situation, but that downer does get punished. Sage not letting up either. And when he finds a hit, he just immediately starts trying to snipe out where the next one's going to come. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really reset hard to neutral or anything. Right. All of a sudden, though, this is this is pretty dangerous. Ooh, Ooh beautiful grab response to that charge up smash. Yeah. And there we go. Like. I, I have a feeling that like uh, final cutter placement is safe against like so many characters, but against Ivysaur, ah! and there we go. Yeah. Vanity spacing that forward smash that we saw misspace just barely in the first stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that Ivysaur is like such a threat by the ledge. Obviously, you've down air, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and and even then, it's definitely one of the stronger characters in terms of uh, ledge trapping if, if you let them get to the ledge. So, yeah. and like Vanity's adjustment to the to the ledge was just really good that whole last bit because we were talking about how Sage was doing early final cutters right to catch his uh, two frame. Timing attempts, right? right? And that's this time Vanity just kept throwing up his shields. Like you're gonna final cutter early to try to stop me from down airing you. I'm gonna just keep getting these grabs and then eventually I'll get my forward smash. Yeah, definitely. Felt like all game, um, the the combos from you know, like the usual combos you see from like Squirtle and a lot of these Pokemon trainer matchups don't seem to be quite working as well. So it feels like uh, it feels like Sage is like kind of able to apply damage a little bit better, but it does feel like Vanity's having a slightly easier time taking stocks. Because at the end of the day, all hits aren't made equal. I mean, if they if do the same percent, like yeah. where where you find those hits, if they're on the ledge, for example, is worth so much more than like getting hits on stage over and over. Well said. Well said, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> all and right. Once again, forced into the corner. I have a whenever I see a, a counterfeit to Kalos, I always feel like it's the player who lost trying to alleviate the ledge pressure because you have those platforms right overwards. It gives you that extra 50-50, oh. ideally. But Vanity doesn't even care; just cleans up that next stock only at 50%. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely like the um, yeah. You alleviate ledge pressure. It's also really big. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've kind of got like more survivability or whatever. But it it. I, mean, I think in, in theory it makes sense, but right now, like Vanity, it's just it's just it's totally fine. Totally he's fine playing on the stage. And he's just kind of like fine just being in his shield, letting Sage just throw out these hitboxes and getting the punishes that are given to him right afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, right there. And look at that yeah. standing grab range from Squirtle. Like, Kirby drifting almost all the way out of there and Vanity still getting the standing grab. The, the thing that amazes me is like Vanity knew that, right? right? Like, he just knew to go for standing grab and it would work. Oh, oh my god, Vanity getting a second stock. 
Yeah, the offstage has actually been insane from uh, the Ivysaur. Oh, wow, looking for, I, I think probably just like an air dodge there to the ground. He's looking for the pivot grab on the fastball air dodge or just an air dodge. Yeah, yeah. So he just turned around kind of without <laughs> reacting. So it looked a little bit silly. <laughs> Either that or it was snapback on his controller. We'll, we'll never know. I, I, I'm honestly oh, leading. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> he just upbeat right into the Vine Whip sweet spot. That was so unlucky for him. Vanity just was in his head that entire second game, right? Yeah. Like, those edge guards were just completely vicious. And I think it just, at the end of the first game, he was like, okay, so those are your different timings that you like doing. Yeah. So I know how I can.